Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you had a good weekend. My weekend was spent in Indiana at Indie PopCon. It was really fun. At Indie PopCon, I got to talk to loads of content creators. There were a bunch of YouTubers there. I met Andre the Black Nerd. There were comic book artists. I met the artist Tony Moore. And I even talked to a couple people about my super secret hush hush, I'm not gonna talk about it right now project. I even attended a couple panels, one of which was very incredibly informative about making YouTube videos. The panel of speakers consisted of Andre the Black Nerd, The Completionist, and Brizzy Voices. They talked about how to make sure your content sticks out, interacting with the fans, not caring what the haters say, can't see the haters. And the part that I found most interesting is when they went in depth talking about the YouTube algorithm, how to get it to work for you, that it's a search engine. It was just, it was all incredibly enlightening. But there was one comment that one of the panelists said, I'm not exactly sure who said it, I didn't quite agree with it 100%. They said that when you find something that connects with your viewers, when your viewers see something that you're doing that they enjoy, run with it. Just just beat that dead horse, just go, milk it for all it's worth, just, just keep doing that thing. Now I get the idea. Clearly you wanna see what works for your viewers. It's basic self-marketing 101. And I'm a big advocate of the throw everything at the wall and see what sticks mentality. But what I'm referring to is that a lot of people don't wanna be typecast into one specific type of YouTube content. What about Fred? You remember Fred? If she doesn't remember Fred, she's too young for you, bro. Fred used to be the biggest thing on YouTube with that audio high-pitched voice modification thing, just running around screaming, adventures, antics ensue. I was never a fan of Fred, but it felt like he had the entire website captivated. Running around, rah! And no matter what Lucas is up to nowadays, pretty sure he's not doing that anymore, I'm always gonna see him as Fred, which I'm sure he doesn't mind because he made bank off of those videos, just, hand over fist, money, 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 money. And unfortunately, there will always be those people that subscribe to a channel for that one specific type of content. I get a whole bunch of people that just like watching my videos on Doctor Who. They're not gonna watch this video because Doctor Who isn't up there in the title. They're here solely for Doctor Who related content. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Now I love me some Doctor Who, you know that. Everybody watching my videos knows that I love Doctor Who. But when I spend time and effort into a video that I really like and I put it up online for the entire world to see and I get comments that are like, make another Doctor Who video, make another Doctor Who video, make another Doctor Who video. I get it. I get that you like that specific type of content from me, that specific topic, fandom, subject. But I want to do other stuff too. And to a degree, I like that you're telling me what you want to see, but when it's over and over and over with no constructive criticism as to what I'm actually putting up. It just gets kind of brain numbing because I feel like a dancing monkey that you're, you want more stuff. I, this is how monkeys dance. I feel like a marionette monkey just dancing around. That's honestly one of the reasons why it took me so long to make a Doctor Who video after coming back is because I wanted to do other stuff. I wanted to talk about other stuff. The pull list, those comic videos, those are very important to me. A couple years ago, for a while, I was worried about being typecast as that Doctor Who YouTuber. But when you say that, there are so many other better YouTubers than me who do Doctor Who related things. Why are you watching me and not them? And then it became this whole big thing in my head where it's like, I'm not the best YouTube Doctor Who fan person, so why are all these people coming to me for Doctor Who content when all these other people are talking about Doctor Who and it was this, ah, constant struggle in my head. Which is one of the reasons I created the pull list because I wanted to put something up that my arms are flailing a lot in this video. I wanted to make a thing that I was really proud of that I would want people to come to me to talk about. Comic nerdy pop culture things, awesome. If I solely did videos on Doctor Who, I bet that they would be more popular than the pull list videos, but I'm not just trying to garner views. I'm trying to put out content that I'm happy with, that I'm proud of, that I wanna share with you guys. And that's all. So I don't know. I know a lot of you are YouTubers. You put content on this wonderful little website that we have. What do you do about creating new content? When you find something that sticks, do you just run with it and just milk that cow as far as it'll go? Or do you just keep putting up things that matter to you? Because I feel like deep down, aside from 
getting a huge audience, making money on YouTube, trying to be popular, anything like that, I feel like you should be happy with the stuff that you're bringing to the table, that you're bringing to the website, that you should be happy five, ten years down the line if your YouTube channel is still active, you could go back and watch those videos and laugh at how bad your editing was. This video didn't have a script or anything, I just kind of hit record and just started talking. So I don't know, I just, I just never wanted to be typecast as the Doctor Who YouTuber. I know this video just kind of spiraled around for a little while, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I heard that and for some reason it sort of rubbed me the wrong way. But maybe I'm just reading too much into it. These three YouTubers really do have so much more experience on this website than I do, so... Ah? So in the comments down below, I want you to tell me what kind of content you like seeing from me not Doctor Who related. I know Doctor Who will win the majority landslide thing, whatnot. I want to hear about a non-Doctor Who related type of video that you want to see me do more of. And I will, I will consider it. As always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say. 